let's come to the time where Rajiv Gandhi was now in the opposition mm -hmm. after 80, 91, uh, when 89 actually. Did you feel that he was maturing, that you know, that you know, especially in the 91 election campaign, one would begin to again see a new Rajiv Gandhi coming in? I think Rajiv Gandhi knew that he was losing the election, but he was not willing to admit it. Uh, in the south, of course, we were winning, but in the north, we were losing. Uh, when he was in the opposition, he was a very different person. He had a much better idea of men and matters, whom he could trust, whose judgment he can rely upon. That's when I think I became rather close to him, the sense of working with him virtually throughout the day. And he shared with me a number of uh, confidences, perceptions, judgments, and I would give him. We disagreed also. Uh, we disagreed on a number of key matters. Uh, by 91, I think he had uh, made up his mind about what his new team will be. That was clearly reflected in the selection of candidates and uh, who he was giving importance to. I have no doubt in my mind if he had come back to power in 91, he would have been a very different kind of prime minister. And he knew that there was no such thing as an indefinite or unlimited period of time. Something which might have been in his mind in 84, that you could rule India for 20 years. I think in 91 he realized that that won't happen in India. In India, people will be in office and out of office. They must be prepared for both. I think 91, if he had come back to power, he would have been a man in a hurry, he would have got things done. He would have brought in a much younger team. He would have entrusted this younger team with key portfolios. Did you think that he was on a comeback trail in, in many ways? I mean, after all, till, you know, 90, he was, 91 was a state of the opposition and elections were, in a way, thrust on it. I think he was on a comeback trail, although it's, you know, this is counterfactual. Um, I cannot now say what would have been the result of that election if he had lived. It's no way, no one can predict that. But surely, the Congress would have been the largest single party he would have formed the government, maybe with the support of uh, a few other parties. Um, but it's counterfactual. But he would have been Prime Minister in 91. Of that I had no doubt. And yet when you look at the election that was thrust on the government, of, I mean on the people of India, it wasn't a very frivolous sort of a thing, the Chandrasekhar government being dismissed on the two Haryana policemen keeping watch on him. Well, that was one of the issues on which I disagreed with him. I remember I walked into his um, office at about 9 o'clock in the morning, and I think he had just met with somebody or And as I walked in, opened his door and walked in, he said, come, come, what is your prime minister doing? I said, what is he doing? Um, he's got policemen spying on me. I said, I don't know. He said, find out immediately. What is he up to? What does he think he's doing? I said, I think you should take it a little calmly and find out, let me find out. I mean, it wasn't very difficult to find out. M.K. Narayanan had come back as DIP uh, on our advice when Prime Minister Chandrasekhar asked him. He was reluctant, but we said, no, take up the job again. So I called him and said, what's going on, M.K.? Came back to me after some time and said, listen, Haryana, two policemen were loitering around, ten jumpers and being caught. And I came back and said, there seems to be some petty uh, station house officers uh, uh, enthusiasm. Maybe Chief Minister of Haryana is involved, but I don't think the Prime Minister is involved. He had come back, I think, from Sharad Pawar's uh, daughter's wedding or something, and maybe in Pune or Bombay, he had made up his mind that the time was right for elections. So when the meeting was called of the key people, um, Shiv Shankar ji, I, and I think um, one other person I can't recall, advised him this was not the time. We said we are in a preparatory mode. We need a little more time to get ready for elections. We can go through our selection of candidates, etc. Et so we need a little more time. Let the Chandrasekhar government run for a while and uh, the fruit will fall in your lap. But uh, I got the impression that he had made up his mind when he was out of Delhi for a few days and he had decided that the time was right to go for elections. I told him I disagreed with him on that. I think we should allow them to run for a few more months. But once the decision was taken, I was willing to go along with it. It was a wrong decision. We should have allowed the Chandrasekhar government to run for a few more months.